Welcome everybody to another tutorial by Alex, um, by me, yeah. So well, before we start, I'm just going to show you some, the, uh, my Patreon page. So if you want to support my channel, uh, you can go to patreon.com slash tips and the link is in the description below, or you can just, uh, watch me uh subscribe and like or comment and turn on the notification so i <coughs> i stream live uh, daily so watch out for my tutorials so the title of the tutorial is it's all about some some photo effects so uh, the first one that i'm going to show you is <coughs> You know when you're when you're in your camera when you're doing a portrait mode you know you focus on one thing and then the rest would be the rest would be uh, blurry right so that's what I did here and but I didn't use the I mean I, this is just like an image on of apples so I'm just gonna show you the the original image of the apple uh, so this is the original of uh, image of the apple and I'm just gonna delete this so that we can start from scratch. And you've noticed that uh, n there's not a lot of blurring going on, right? So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna show you is to, I'm gonna isolate these two apples and I'm gonna use a very quick and simple effect using the lens effect, okay? But first of all, what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, create a shape to isolate this, okay? So I'll, uh, I'm going to click on my Bezier tool, or I can do freehand. I think freehand is better, so I can do it fast. So freehand, and I'm just going to just, you know, create a shape. It doesn't need to be perfect. Uh, I'm just going to create a shape for these two apples, and I am going to close it. It's important to close it, and you know it's closed. It's, it's going to close because of the arrow, right? And click. And then to test, you can always, you know, click on the uh, a fill, a fill color so that you know, okay, that's, uh, that is a closed object. Okay. I'm just going to do some editing here. Um, maybe just a little bit here. It's not, it's not really critical, but, you know, I'll just leave it like that. Okay, so that's your first first shape. So hit F4 to view all. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another shape, which is outside. It has to be bigger than the, uh, uh, than the photograph, like that, right? And then I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and uh, <coughs> hold down Shift and click on this one so that you can select both right you can select both objects uh, I'm gonna click on this one here and uh, and it says here in my property bar it's select two objects are selected oh, sorry it's gone again uh, here and hold down shift and this one okay and here in the property bar you can see two objects are selected and I'm going to um, <coughs> going to combine it is it's important to combine it so that uh, the masking will work so click on combine and that's it right and you notice there's like a black outline here I'm going to remove that black outline by <coughs> by going here and then right mouse gear to remove the outline okay so no outline now but my group object I may my combine object is still selected so you go to effects and then go to lens and then in lens you go to bitmap effect and then bitmap effect i mean to say you can do uh, most of the uh, most of the effects here so we'll go to blur and then gaussian blur click on that and then you'll have this radius settings just gonna make the radius bigger more until you see it blurring now I can see it's blurring do you see that 
Now we'll just put one more. That's too much, I think. Uh, I think that one, and then click OK, right? So now if we, if I zoom out here, hit F4. So you notice that you can see the difference now that these two are isolated. So we'll put it side by side, I mean the original image. Um, is it this one? No, that's not the one. It's this one here. <laughs> Sorry about that. I have to duplicate it first. So plus sign in your keyboard to duplicate. And now let's do F4. So yeah, you can see the difference, right? All right, let's go to page two here. So this page two, what I did, I this is the effect that I want to show you. Uh, so let's start. Um, so if you analyze it, it's just like cutting. It's like a cutting, cutting this with the logo and put Elon Musk in the inside the photo. Okay, so I'm just going to move this over here. I'm just gonna delete this first. Okay. So I'm going to put him here first, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this logo. The problem is this logo is a is a bitmap. See, it's a it's a J, so it's a it's a PNG, right? So in PNG you cannot. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, stop streaming here. Uh, I'm gonna pause this. <laughs> my my Corel draw just crashed. Once again, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm going to pause for a second. Okay, uh, I'm gonna cancel that, cancel, and cancel, cancel, cancel. This is live, so I can't really control uh, what's gonna happen. So anyway, I'll go to effects and think this is the file here. Hopefully this is the file here. Okay. Alright, so we're in page two. And I hope it was saved. <laughs> it wasn't saved, so anyway. I am so sorry. I think I have to end this stream. Um, yes, I have to end this stream because I don't have those images saved. But let me see. Um, let me go into my folder. And so while you're still here, I'm just going to go into one of the images that I can, I can show you. Okay, so I think I have this and... So I'll have this one here. Okay. So the next effect is this one. There's a couple here. And then, so my objective here is to make the background uh, grayscale, right? Or black and white photographs. So, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to my freehand tool again. And I'm just going to start from here. And then just, I'm going to. I'm gonna go close to close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move my cursor and okay, my computer is getting slow. Okay. So that's one and then I'm going to put another shape over in this side here. So I'm gonna go like this. So basically you're gonna just going to make a shape that you want to make it black and white. Oops, again. Okay, I'm gonna close that. And there it is. So I'm gonna combine these two. Hold down shift and 
choose this one again and then you go combine right I'm gonna remove the outline because we don't need the outlines right now let's give them that and then while that those those are selected you go to effects and then go to lens and then in lens you choose bitmap effect and so in bitmap you, then you can go here and effects and then you can go to uh, adjust and then desaturate so desaturate making removing the colors so there you go and then of course if you have something like this you can still edit that because it's a vector image which is nice uh, let's double click on this to add the node and very simple effect but well, very elegant too if you look at this very nice and then you can put your text here okay so now let's go to another effect I hope I still have those images um, yeah I have this image here I'm gonna import this image Okay, so what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to break this photograph, right? So basically, it's going to, I'm going to put some lines and I'm gonna break it, right? So so first, first of all, you have to uh, go to a rectangle and then you, so create a rectangle inside the photograph, right? And then you go to the photograph itself and then go to objects and then power clip. And place inside a frame. So my frame is the rec rectangle that I just created. Click, and and now it's already the photo is already in that rectangular box. So the next thing you have to do, you can do is you can uh, go freehand tool to break this photo, or you can also use this. Um, uh, I used this one live sketch, and it worked really good because it's more fluid. So say I'm going to break this photo like this, right? That's just an example. So you have to make it intersect, go over, right? And then I'm just going to select these two, right? The photograph and also this. So hold down shift and click on this one. And then you go simplify. So click on simplify. Okay, so what simplify will do is we'll... So you can delete this now. This is just your line and then now it's two objects right so you click on this two and then you can go object and then break curve apart okay and then now if you notice it's it's broken now right uh, i'm gonna remove the outlines so right mouse to click here to remove the outline so now if you want the rotation to be from here so you click on the object right or this is this is a power clip and click one more time until you see this one so this is the rotation of your uh, your yeah that's the base of your rotation so when I chose here and then I'm going to move this it, that's where the pivot would be right okay so let's uh, do some cutting here from here this and once again this line uh, hold on shift to select this and then simplify okay and then delete this one and then click and then go objects break power clip apart so now it's broken so you click on it click one more time and then go this rotation angle to here if I want it to be there and then move it over here and uh, I'll make a couple of maybe one more and then and then that's it so click on that line hold on shift and click on this this part clip and then go to simplify and then remove this and then break it apart and then go for a click click one more time change the rotation reference I'll click in there and there you go so 
that's uh, that's it. I hope you liked my uh, three FX and and I hope you like it. Uh, once again, subscribe, um, like, comment on my on my videos. So I'll see you tomorrow again. Bye for now.